что нужно, чтобы усыпить Порошенко. Дмитрий Киселов has a special place among Russian propagandists. He's the only Russian journalist sanctioned by Canada for disseminating what the government considers to be Kremlin lies. Канада как колыбель майданной независимости. And for his first primetime show of 2019, he zeroed in on Canada and its million and a half strong Ukrainian community. На сегодняшний день диктуют внешнюю политику Канады. They are the ones that dictate Canadian foreign policy, said the woman who is listed as a director of the Russian Congress of Canada, a group seen as being very pro-President Vladimir Putin. Войск СС нацистской Германии. Kisilov's program visited a Ukrainian cemetery in Oakville. It's filled with the graves of Ukrainians who fought with the Nazis against Russia during the Second World War. <laughs> which appeared to be the central theme, that Ukrainian Nazi descendants Justin Trudeau hold political power in Canada. Foreign Affairs Minister Christia Friedland and Liberal MP Boris Shevznevsky and his family, dressed in their traditional Ukrainian vyshevankas, were singled out. And it was seen as a sign of, oh my goodness, uh, see, we told you, they're infiltrating, they're, you know, it's just ludicrous. Controlling Ukraine is central to Putin's goal of making Russia a global superpower again, says Shuznevsky. Without Ukraine, Russia ceases to be an empire. The anti-Ukrainian rhetoric has intensified here ever since Russia's navy shot at and then captured Ukrainian warships and their crews near the disputed Crimean Peninsula. Now, with Ukrainian elections just around the corner, the Kremlin's propaganda machine may be turning its focus to Ukraine's strongest allies. Chris Brown, CBC News, Moscow.